name is Lloyd Frazier and today we'll be creating and editing tables with OpenOffice Writer. Tables present complex information in an easy to read format. You can insert text, numbers, and graphics into tables. At some point in your life you have to present a lot of data in a clear and concise manner. If you are new to adding tables in OpenOffice Writer then this tutorial will take you through this process. Here are some of the objectives that we're going to go over today. Um, creating a table, merging cells, adding information, editing the cells, adding and removing cells, and using the sum function to get the totals in each cell. Today we're going to create a timesheet for a two-week span with using the Monday through Friday calendar. Uh, we're going to record the hours work for each day, and we're also going to use the sum function to add up the hours for each week. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is create our table. What we're going to do is open up OpenOffice.org and we're going to open up a text document. Let me maximize that real quick. Alright, there's two different ways you can make a table. Um, the first way is by going to the table menu on the toolbar. Go to insert and table. This brings up a box where you can name your table, put the dimensions, rows and columns. It also gives options like heading, do you want to have a split table or do you want to have one big large box? And also if you want to border around your table. So what we're going to do is name our table. We're going to name it timesheet. And for the columns we're going to do seven. And for the rows, we'll do five. And just hit OK. And there's the table. And the second way to do this is by clicking on the table icon here in the toolbar, clicking on the little arrow, and a little grid is going to pop up. And what you're going to want to do is just scroll over to the amount of rows and columns you want, and you'll see the dimensions on the bottom of the grid. And we'll do the same thing. We'll do seven rows, well, seven columns, and five rows. And all you have to do is click, and then it'll pop onto your text document. All right, now that we have created our table, what we want to do now is add a heading to our table by merging the top row of cells. I'm going to start with the first two cells at the top row. I'm going to highlight them both and there's an icon in the table toolbar at your top left that says merge cells. Just click it and it merges the two cells into one. But we want to have the whole top row merged into one. So what we'll do is highlight the whole top row and click the merge cells button. And there you go. You have a nice little heading title bar for your uh, table and you can also split the cells so if I were to highlight this top row there's a split cells button I'll click that and a box comes up that says uh, how many cells do you want to split it into and since we have seven columns we want to split it into seven and also we want to split them vertically and just hit OK and all the cells are back to where we had them in the first place um, but for now we're gonna leave them all merged so we can have a title for our table okay now we're gonna start adding information into the cells which is fairly easy all you have to do is just click in a cell that you want to type into um, right now we're gonna do the heading and just start typing for our heading, we're going to name it Timesheet. And since we want this to be in the center, what we'll do is just highlight Timesheet and just click the center button. And we want to put the days of the week across. Actually, I'm just going to go offline and fill everything in for you. 
Okay, I filled in the rest of the information we need for the table. I added in the days of the week, the totals, uh, week one and week two, as well as the hours earned each day. Next, we'll be editing and formatting the table. Okay, now what we're going to do is edit the cells to make the table look a little more presentable. We're going to start by bolding out the headings. Um, I'm going to highlight the top two rows and make them bold. And we can also make them a little more um, bigger than the data that we have under it. So we'll do 13. And we'll do the same for week one and week two. Just highlight them, bold, and we'll change the font size to 13. And what we also want to do is change the color of the table to just make it make it look a little more better than just black and white. So we'll highlight the first two rows again and we'll click on the arrow right beside the paint bucket. And here you can choose whatever color you want. Uh, I'll go ahead and choose this right here, chart six. And we'll do the same for week one and week two and the cell below it. Change it to the same color. And we also want to change the color to this area right here. So we'll highlight all the cells in this area. And we'll find the color to pick for it. Let's do orange. All right, and you can also edit the borders. And what we'll do is highlight the whole cell. And if you look in your table toolbar, you have line style. And you can change the thickness of your lines doing this. And what we'll do is we'll change it to one point. We don't want it to be too thick, so we'll do that. And there you go. I have a, a much better looking table now. All right, now I'm going to show you how to add and remove cells. Um, we're going to do this by adding or deleting a row or column. What we'll do is start down here at the bottom. And if you look on the table toolbar, you'll see an insert row button. And all you have to do is click that and you'll get a row inserted at the bottom from where you were. And we can also do this with columns. If we go to the far right and there's an insert column button, just click it and it inserts a new column. Now if you wanted to delete a column or row, we click on that particular row or column and go back to the toolbar you'll see a delete row or delete column button. Let's uh, delete the row first. And we can also delete the column. 